Welcome to ATCM the Emergency Medicine channel. Uh, today, now I have with me is the flexible bronchoscope. So first, let's see the parts of this flexible bronchoscope. So this is the distal end or the patient end. So here you can see a hole and a light source. This is the blended section. So where it can be blended up and down. And then this is the connector. So if you connect this thing to this, so we can get this screen and all. So this is the screen and this is the agronomic grip so from where i can hold this thing uh, flexible bronchoscope then the next thing is uh, this is the control lever so where i can uh, keep it up and down so that visualization can be uh, it, it will be very easy and this is the next thing that is suction port so we can connect here the suction catheter and you can suck out the secretions then this is the suction button so we can press it down and up so that uh, we can clear the secretions and we can clear the airway then this is the one more port where we can connect oxygen and we can instill some uh, fluids and water so that we can clear the airway and uh, the remaining thing is for the confirmation i have with me uh, ambubak and uh, one endotracheal tube for the placement of the tube into the trachea then i have with me is the one of 10 ml syringe for the inflation of the cuff let's see the procedure of the sorotracheal intubation for this thing there is no need of any sedation just we can spray a lignocaine spray into the mouth then we need to pass this uh, scope into the patient's mouth so once if you see the uvula you have to go just certain depth then after going into a certain depth with the help of uh, this control lever you need to adjust this view then slightly you have to pass this tube into the trachea so you can see the passage over here so you can see the passage over here okay then after going uh, into certain depth that is uh, uh, up to the level of carina we can go then we have to insert this tube slowly okay then after inserting this tube we can take out this thing so once after inserting the tube from the mouth you can see a leaf like structure called as epiglottis so just behind the epiglottis you can see glottis then you can see two white colored bands of structures uh, which are called as vocal cords we have to pass endotracheal tube in between the vocal cords then you can insert this tube up to the carina so carina is a place where the trachea divides into right and left main bronchus see in that video you can see that carina also that bifurcation also you can see and here you can see the cartilage in a syrinx of trachea also so after the placement of this tube you can see the inflation of the lung